In this lecture I will be showing you how to utilize the stencil sheets which are a bonus accessory from Brother. Basically they are a low tack film that you can use to stencil through either with inks, paints, airbrush mediums, whatever you like really. The sheet is provided in a 12 inch by 24 inch format so will fit your cutting mats especially the large format cutting mats. To set the machine up to cut the stencil film we turn the machine on, press the home key and then the OK button that appears on screen. Open the tray at the front of the machine. Drop the side lever down to number one. Pull out the tray at the back of the machine. And then load our black auto blade. DX machines come pre-installed with a range of designs and in particular there are some stencil designs already installed. Of course you can use your own. On this occasion I'm going to choose one from the library in my SDX 1200 machine. To load the stencil sheet on the mat you put the backing side face down and the stencil film face up. It's important to make sure that it's stuck down thoroughly and that there are no air bubbles between the film and the backing sheet. I like to use my brayer to ensure this. This is an important step as air bubbles can cause the film to lift from the backing sheet during the cutting process. You would load your cutting mat in exactly the same way you do for any other cutting operation. When you come to cut the design, it's always a good idea to scan a preview of where your stencil film is on your mat, especially if you haven't used a full sheet. By doing this, we can see where that film is and position our design accordingly. If after scanning your design looks faint, or sorry, the background looks faint, you can always change that in the settings that are accessible via the spanner icon on the right of the screen. For me, I had it on full contrast, so it was OK. We can send this to cut now, so we choose cut from the output options menu. And although the half cut feature is already turned on, I will just quickly show you where to find that. It's an important one when you're cutting things like vinyl or stencil sheets because it helps the machine gauge how far through it should cut in order to leave your design on the backing sheet. After the design has cut, you can start weeding out all of the parts that you don't need or want. Sometimes I will put a weeding box around the design and I will keep the central part, especially if it's a basic shape. This way I've got a stencil and a mask of the same design. Obviously you would then use it to position on your cardstock or surface in order to stencil through. 